What's going on guys? Tool Cruise here with... Tundis. I picked up Tunchan from work and we're gonna be riding home together today. It's her first commute day with her new mountain bike. But anyway, it's getting dark pretty fast, so we gotta hurry up and get on the road. Hai. Let's go. Let's go. I've been getting a lot of comments on the channel lately asking for some more commute videos, some more riding videos. And unfortunately, we're just in the middle of winter commuting season here in Japan, so it's just always dark. It's pitch dark when I finish work, and it's too dark to film any good video. In the morning also, it's still pretty dark out. The sun's not that strong yet, so I haven't been able to get much video. Today is a national holiday here in Japan, and I was off work, luckily, but Tunchan, she works at a pretty tough factory, and her company that she works for doesn't really get any days off of work, unfortunately. So today I came to pick her up and join her for her ride home. <笑>うん。こっちの方いいでしょ Everybody's in a hurry to get home from work. Mm. So nice sunset ride. Dorio. I see it. Ah. That's one of the things I'm really looking forward to as we get into the spring commuting season here is the sunset will be starting to get a little bit later and later. So hopefully I'll be getting some sunset rides at least. So hopefully pretty soon I'll be getting some sunset rides on my home, on my way home from work. Really excited for this because then I can start making some more commuting videos to share with you guys. Mountain bike day, two kin suruto, do, kimochi, road bike yori. Kimochi. Kimochi. Video, I'm recovering. Hm. You can't have So, single go all for a good. Hm. No, moto kimochi de show? Kitten I meet you to gather. Hm. So it's closing time from work right now. Everyone's coming back. Those people that we just passed on the Mamacharis are actually also some of the factory workers. So there's lots of factories in this area in connection to the auto industry. And a lot of them are actually international employees. So there's lots of different people from different countries that participate in the what's called the Japanese Skills Technical Labor Program or whatever it's called. And so there's people from China, from Vietnam, there's lots of people from Vietnam right now, uh, Philippines, Peru. Uh, Peru, also Peru, Atoa. Ah. Philippines is more. Hmm. Hmm. Japanese American is not. Hehe. So much cheaper それ、それと言えば、会社一番人気かな。アメリカ人イケメン。関係ある?そういう仕事。それでイケメン。あ。あ。だから結婚したでしょ?あ、あ。<笑> 
イケメンだから一つの理由だけ一つの理由だけえー、毎日この時間で帰るな、うん、いいねまだ対応があるそうそう<笑>俺帰るときいつも暗い<笑> So it's really funny you can see all the traffic lined up on the back side over there so, so this direction is actually the direction towards the city and the direction the other way is towards the countryside I've got to be careful for pedestrians Jeez. I've been a little bit But yeah, you can tell from the traffic that there's definitely way more people heading from the factories back towards the city than there are people going the opposite direction. Oh, Kochi Wataru! We'll go on the secret path here. The secret underground route. <laughs> that thing's been there for ages, just getting stripped down. Go! go. Actually, this is the second time I had to film this video. I tried filming it this morning for her morning commute when it was、uh, even brighter, nice and sunny. And unfortunately, my GoPro froze up. The whole image was froze for the entire video. The audio is still recorded, and that was really annoying because I wanted to go edit it after I finished, edit it right away. Then I found out all the videos were messed up, so unfortunately, that video was lost. But hopefully, this time around, it'll work and I can get this video out to you guys. So, this area, the flowers get really nice in spring, just a little bit longer, another month or so. And this area over here is the Toyota Automobile Museum. There's a bunch of cool things along this road that we haven't been to, even though we live really close. So, there's the IKEA, we just passed this Toyota Museum right here. There's the giant Eon Mall that we're about to pass up right up here. And these are all places that we unfortunately never go to, but we fortunately live in a really nice area here in Japan with more wide open space. So, this is an area that's just being more developed recently. And now, with more wealthy people moving over here, they're taking advantage of all the space. So, this area in Japan is really different compared to most areas in Japan, which Have a little bit more history to them and are a bit more smaller because of that. So, we are really fortunate to live in such a nice area with all these different luxuries right here. So, this is just a giant shopping mall right here, and a bunch of different shops in there, movie theater, all the stuff that we never really take advantage of. Between biking to work and working and editing on our videos, working on our blogs every day, we don't have too much of an active life. But we do enjoy it. We do enjoy what we do. t u n c h a n always makes sure to unclip out of her pedal before the intersection so she doesn't risk falling over. I think she had a painful lesson once. Sanwi? Huh? Waku waku してる Nande? Haiku, haiku. Haiku, haiku. Haiku, haiku. Haiku, haiku. Haiku, haiku. Haiku, h a i I'm really jealous of her commute time. She gets a really nice sunset view every day. 
I've just been commuting in the pitch black for the last few months now and being able to commute during this time is really nice. Kimi no tsukin de kekko no bore ne. Tsuyoku naru. Tsuyoku naru kana. As the sun goes down, it does get considerably colder. I'm pretty used to this temperature now because I'm commuting in the cold every day, early morning, late night. And it was nice to have the warm sunlight while we had it. It's about zero degrees today, so zero degrees Celsius, about freezing temperature. Not too bad compared to some of the other places I know. I know there's a lot of fans of this channel who are commuting in sub-freezing temperatures every day. So props to you guys for toughing it out every day in way rougher conditions. This is the giant Nagoya shop. I made a video tour on the channel a while back. This place is pretty cool, a bike shop. Nice big bike shop in this area. So check out the video if you're interested. Again, we just live in a really nice, really fortunate area. Lots of cool things all around. Anything that you could want. We've got a conveyor belt sushi restaurant right here. A used bookshop right there so I can go buy some nice manga comic books if I need to for cheap. An udon shop right there. Convenience store right here. Everything that we need. There's also a sports store right there. We don't do too many sports though other than just cycling. And also a curry restaurant right here to our left. A karaoke shop right here. And also, don't forget your Mama Cherry bicycle shop right over there. Everything that we need. Love our little corner here in Japan. After we get home, we are going to prepare a little bit and then head out and ride into the city. So we'll be doing a night ride video later today. So be sure to stay tuned and check out that video when it comes up next. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. Also be sure to like the video. It really helps support the channel and help push out these videos to more people. Another thing I want to mention before we finish is a plug for Toon Chan's new YouTube channel. She started a walking channel. So that's one of the reasons that we're riding into Nagoya tonight is to film some night walking tour videos in Nagoya. It's a fun little project that she's working on and there's no real talking in it or anything like that. It's just an immersion experience, a nice relaxing video that you can watch and feel like you are here in Japan. So if you have any suggestions for that, any suggestions for her channel, be sure to go check it out and subscribe, comment on her videos. And she loves hearing from you guys and she's really excited to work on this project and she's really excited to be able to work on something that she can share with a more international audience, so not just Vietnamese people. She doesn't have that much confidence with her English yet, but that is something we are improving on. Anyway, go check out her new channel, and also be sure to stay tuned for our next video coming up here on the Two Wheel Cruise channel. We're gonna finish this video here. As always, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.